Dennis, as you step away from clinical practice, I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to extend my congratulations and thanks. You have truly had a remarkable and impactful career and are undoubtedly one of my most significant professional mentors. To this day, in fact, earlier this morning, when I'm giving very specific instructions to a fellow or resident and recognize they might find it a little annoying, I will usually use the phrase, you know, Dr. Winger taught me to do it this way. I'm particularly grateful for your recognition of the importance of treating the whole child, even before that was a catchphrase. To accomplish this, you focused on communicating with the entire family and realized to do that well, you had to have some understanding of their experiences and expectations. That's an important lesson that I've carried with me throughout my career. Carolyn joins me in wishing you and Kathy all the best in the next phase of your journey. Godspeed. This is a bell curve. This is average. This is Michael Jordan. This is your child. Don't touch the screen. Dr. Wenger, I hear you're retiring from your clinical responsibilities. I wanted to wish you congratulations and make you aware that even though you're retiring, that your education you passed along to us, as well as your an anecdotes, uh, still will live on in all of us. Um, even over a decade out, I still hear your voice when I am talking to patients. Um, I appreciate all you've uh, taught us, and uh, I wish you well, and I'm sure I'll see you soon. Take care. Denny, I'm happy to hear you're retiring. You are going to have fun and do different things and learn a lot. I want to thank you for all the wisdom you passed on over the years. Uh, you've made me a better doctor and patients have done better because of you. I've also personally enjoyed sitting next to you at meals and having some fine conversation over the years. A lot of things you say sticks with me. Hi Dennis, I'd like to send this video letter from Japan. You've finally completed your clinical career. Congratulations on your wonderful achievement. Best of luck with your life from now as a senior education consultant. I remember that I talked to you first at the Posner meeting more than 20 years ago. Since then, whenever I saw you at the meetings, you spoke to me and kindly told me much cutting edge information with a smile. Fortunately, your specialty in the pediatric orthopedic field were the children's hip diseases, which was also my favorite. I can say that you are a good golf player as well as an outstanding pediatric orthopedic surgeon. You were kindly asked to play with me and my wife Maki again. Now as a COVID-19 is uh, raging all over the world, please take care of yourself and safe. stay safe. I am looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Congratulations, Dennis. You've challenged a lot of us to think more clearly, including me, and I appreciate it. Love you, man. And they asked it to tell stories about you, but don't worry, your stories are safe with me. Have fun. Hi, Dennis. You have had a huge influence on my life, both professionally and personally. I deeply appreciate your mentorship early in my career and deeply value the friendship that followed. Congratulations on completing a very impactful career in pediatric orthopedics. Know that you have made a difference. I wish you and Kathy only the best moving forward, and I shall look forward to the next time that our paths cross. Be well. Dr. Wenger, congratulations on this milestone in your career, well-deserved. This is John Schlechter, Fellowship Class 2007-2008. First and foremost, I can't thank you enough and really wanted to send my deepest gratitude for giving me the opportunity to train at San Diego Children's Hospital. For without that fellowship experience, I definitely wouldn't be the physician I am today. I'll have you know that so many things that you taught me, I took to heart, including 
things like living close to the hospital. I'll have you know that I only live about 12 miles from where I take call and it's been a blessing. I still fold my face sheets the way you taught me and definitely prepare for a case uh, by hanging the technique on the wall and bringing pertinent articles for all in the operating room to read. And I hold my residents to the same standard and I think it's made them uh, better throughout the years. So I wish you the best in what life has to offer as you move on. I hope you're still playing golf and I hope you enjoy it. And I wish you and your family the best and hope to see you real soon. Take care. I can safely say that without ever having formally trained with him, Dennis Wenger is one of the most influential people in my career. I thank him for this. I'm sure many people have better stories than I do. I will always remember Dennis's tenacity and poise at the podium or on a microphone. A true Renaissance man, Dennis and I have enjoyed many conversations about pediatric orthopedics, but also about many other topics. One of the most vivid memories in my mind is a round of golf we played years ago, during which the conversation went from hip dysplasia to the international drug trade, to fracking, and ending on a philosophical discussion on whether lizards have goals and aspirations. Dennis, congratulations on a fantastic career. I look forward to seeing you in new and different settings. Dr. Wenger, this is Keith Bachman, class of 2015-16. Just sending out well wishes video to let you know that uh, I wish you congratulations uh, on your retirement from your formal practice. Very happy that you'll be able to stick around as a senior education associate. And just wanted you to know the influence that you've had in my training, not just during my time in fellowship, um, but from the tree that you've created, uh, uh, the branch that you've created in the tree of orthopedics. I learned under Dr. Adamchek, Dr. Ritzman, Dr. Goodwin in my residency, uh, and then have joined Dr. Abel in practice here in Virginia. And so my children's orthopedics life is full of um, branches from the San Diego tree. And I thank you very much for that. Wish you all the best. Hey everybody, Matt Schmitz from San Antonio, Texas, and I thought I'd take a minute to congratulate and wish Dr. Dennis Wanger well on his way into retirement. I think I'd start with my, my funny antidote first, and I'm sure everyone that's watching this has heard at least some version of the bell curve of coordination st story. Uh, I've actually modified it and have used it in my clinic myself, but a funny story regarding Dennis is that whenever a child would come in with some slight in-towing or some awkwardness, he would sit down and he would draw out a bell curve and, and say, this is the bell curve of coordination. Your child is down here. Michael Jordan is up here. It doesn't mean there's anything quite wrong with your child. He's just not very coordinated. Nowadays, we have to kind of modify that as the kids these days, I don't think know who Michael Jordan is or remember who he is, but we can use LeBron James or someone like that. But that story always makes me smile. But in all honesty, uh, you know, Dennis, it's, it's, uh, I cherish your friendship, uh, your mentorship over the years, um, playing golf with you. Uh, I know that we will continue to do that uh, down the road and, and wish you all the best in, in your retirement. Uh, I know you'll still be heavily involved in education uh, and the education of uh, both residents and fellows. And, and many of us through the years are, are forever grateful for your um, role in our, our early careers and, and even late careers. So thank you very much and best of luck. Cheers. Hi, my name is uh, Nira Pundia. Um, I work up in, the, up in the Bay Area. Just wanted to wish a warm and hearty congratulations to Dr. Wenger on entering the next phase of his career. There are certain people that you remember throughout your training, uh, whether it be undergrad, medical school, fellowship, and Dr. Wenger is definitely one of the few people who has stuck with me uh, over the years of training. Finished fellowship in 2011 as I enter my 10th year of practice. Dr. Wenger's voice is still in the back of my head. I remember him uh, dissecting our post-operative x-rays, teaching us in clinic, and every time I'm teaching my residents or fellows, there's a large part of Dr. Wenger that is uh, in the back of my head. I had a very difficult fellowship year from a personal level. My father passed away very on in fellowship. I had my first child, and Dr. Wenger was amazing. He stood by me. He supported me. He uh, acted like that father figure for me at, uh, at work uh, when I needed it most. And what I'm most amazed about is the intimate details Dr. Wenger will still remember years uh, even after fellowship. And I tell all incoming fellows when they uh, are either incoming or looking at the fellowship that you may be intimidated by Dr. Wenger. You may 
uh, be afraid to a certain extent. Uh, but once you finish that fellowship and once you've completed it, you're part of his family. He treats you and looks out for you like no one else will. So once again, congratulations, Dr. Wenger. Uh, you are a huge part of uh, where I am today. Uh, and I hope one day to achieve the career that you have um, in the way that you have done so. Thank you so much for being a great educator, uh, role model, and mentor for so many other pediatric orthopedic surgeons, not only in this country, but across the world. Thank you. Hi, Dennis. Greetings from Singapore. I heard from uh, Peter Newton that uh, you're going to retire. I don't think you're quite ready for that. You're way too young. Anyway, your uh, wonderful mind is so agile and creative. You haven't spent enough time sharing your thoughts with uh, all the orthopedic community in the rest of the world yet. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you and Kathy for spending time in Singapore in the region with us over the years to educate our young orthopedic surgeons, as well as the older ones. Uh, you've uh, done a lot for us. Um, on a personal note, I really enjoyed the times when we had conversations together, uh, especially when we were talking about things beyond orthopedics. And uh, I was impressed with all the uh, erudite views that you had on so many different areas that we conversed on. Um, I would like to take this opportunity uh, as well to wish you all the best in your semi-retirement and I hope that you will be spending some time with us in Asia, in the uh, Pacific region uh, in the future. All the best. Bye. Hi everyone, this is Craig Lauer, uh, Rady Fellowship Class of 2018. Um, I got the email from JD about a tribute to Dennis Wenger and uh, I just lit up at the opportunity. Um, what can be said about Dr. Wenger that hasn't already been said? Um, I will obviously, uh, I will try and make a stab at that. Um, Dr. Wenger, congratulations on your great career. Uh, we will certainly miss uh, having you, but hopefully um, we'll still see you around and I really hope that you and I can keep in touch. Um, you've always been the centerpiece of some of the most lively discussions, whether at Rady or on the international and national stage. Um, you know, whenever you take the podium at IPAS or POSNA, um, even in this attention-starved ADHD time frame where we all have phones at our uh, disposal at all time, people set down their phones and they pay attention because it is always entertaining and you will always express like an opposing opinion just for the sake of a good argument and that really contributed to our education and also um, uh, I think helps you think outside the box and broadens our ability to think outside the box. Um, you are a regular philosopher on uh, personal life, uh, clinic routines, surgery, raising children, everything. It's amazing how many things happen to me on a daily basis and I don't have a wanger anecdote um, that I'm reminded of uh, with, with that coming to mind. Um, you are a lot of fun to work with. Um, you know, frightening, I think, at first, just given your uh, kind of standing, but, um, you know, you, you are personable, and I feel so lucky to have trained with you. Um, my wife says that when I was on your service, I would actually start speaking like you. I mean, sometimes I think that was intentional, as I was maybe telling a story in your voice, um, but often unknowingly, um, and <laughs> she, she always knew when I was done uh, working with you because I went back to normal. Um, I just want to share one quick story um, that really has nothing to do with anything, but I think that's fitting. Um, while retracting for you during a, uh, a flat foot case, I believe, um, you asked me to hold something when I was already holding, I think, three other things, and you mentioned that I could be a much better surgical assistant if I had other arms. Um, which then led you to a story about how every day when you come to Rady with your suitcase in one hand and your coffee in the other, 
you get to the door to the ORs where they now make you swipe in with your badge and you always struggle with what to do and you wish you had another arm and your solution is to look around and make sure no one's watching and place your briefcase in your teeth like a doggy and then swipe yourself in and go on with your day. Um, so uh, I don't know what that had to do with flat foot surgery, but uh, I think that Rady needs to look into uh, some touchless uh, ways to enter the OR. I think you have a sincere interest in training education and personal relationships, and you're unlike any other, and the world of pediatric orthopedics will truly miss you, and I feel very lucky to uh, call you a mentor. Thank you. Dr. Wenger, this uh, message is coming to you from Kuwait while I'm deployed. Um, I want to congratulate you on a full career that was very blessed. Um, probably my fondest memory was my interview during fellowship when you asked me my thoughts on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and what my stance was. Um, all I can say is that I got into the fellowship program, so I must have answered that correctly. Um, but there was a lot of tidbits that I learned through my training with you. Um, always use a red cast when the foot is uh, bloody after surgery uh, was one of them. And to always keep your hands out of the way. And if you got stuck, that it was probably because um, if I got stuck during surgery by you, it was probably because I was working too slow. Um, it's been an honor to be your student, uh, to be trained by you. Um, you imparted a tremendous amount of knowledge to me, and I am completely indebted to you for that. And the same goes for after fellowship. I've cons consulted you multiple times, and uh, the outcome has always been good following your advice for uh, my pediatric patients. Um, so with that, again, heartfelt congratulations. I wish you well on uh, the next uh, chapter of life. And... Um, um, look forward to continuing to uh, work with you for for uh, many many years to come and um, and so with that thank you again for being my uh, mentor and uh, someone that I can uh, have been using um, as a role model uh, in terms of, of um, developing myself also in this field of pediatric orthopedic surgery so thank you uh, this is Imran signing off from Kuwait, uh, fellowship class of 2015. Bye. Hi, this is Min Coker from Boston Children's Hospital. Um, Dennis, congratulations on your retirement from patient care. Uh, my Wenger anecdote comes from when Dennis uh, was recruiting me to come to San Diego in 1999. I was a fellow in Vail at the Stedman Hawkins Clinic. Uh, my wife, Mish, and I uh, were out at San Diego at a great dinner um, at a restaurant right on the ocean with the waves through the picture window. Uh, Dennis was telling me more about myself than I knew, um, given my father was an engineer and my mom was a school teacher. I remember him talking to Mish, uh, who is an engineer and a Harvard MBA, about how important it was to stay at home to raise kids. Um, and he had a lot of insight. Um, you went on to build a great sports program there, building on uh, the work of Hank Chambers, um, adding Eric Edmonds and the wonder child, Andy Pennick. Um, many things I admire about Dennis. Um, I think um, the insight that you had, the ability to get to a challenging question. Um, I think recognizing what's hot and what's coming in pediatric orthopedics, sports medicine, hip preservation, PAO, surgical dislocation, uh, and most importantly, I think uh, mentoring younger folks and uh, giving them your time uh, and having very real conversations. So I appreciate that. Uh, Dennis, I wish you uh, all the best uh, in your retirement. Thanks. Hi, Dr. Wenger. Chol Kim here. It's been much too long since uh, we had a chance to sit down and spend some quality time together. but. Uh, just to remind you, I did two children's hospitals rotations when I was a UCSD resident uh, nearly 20 years ago. And I still remember all the things that you taught me about you know, how to be a great surgeon and a great teacher and uh, all the wangerisms that, uh, that you uh, shared with us during the operating room on those long surgery days. 
Um, I still remember a lot of them, and uh, I still hear your little voice inside my head when things are getting uh, difficult and uh, I'm being challenged in the operating room. So I just wanted to say thank you for um, all that you've done for me personally, as well as the entire field of orthopedic surgery and orthopedic training. Thank you for being uh, so um, entertaining, providing um, levity and humor, uh, in addition to the very intense work environment that, uh, that uh, we are in and, uh, and for demonstrating what it means to be a, an excellent surgeon, an excellent teacher, uh, and uh, thank you for being a mentor and a role model for me, and congratulations on your retirement. Um, I hope I can see you on the golf course at least one of these times in the near future, uh, and best wishes, and thank you again. And it's, I'm very proud as your friend for 40 some years. Your energy of engaging in academic science or pediatric orthopedics was impressive. Here are some pictures of remembrance of our past. I remember that you and I went to Taiwan for pediatric orthopedic course in 1989. This is a picture taken in front of old National Taiwan University Hospital. I still remember our trip to Aix-en-Provence in November of 1996 called inaugural iPod meeting. Then to Marseille on the way to Singapore. This is a picture taken in front of the harbor with Matthew. I also remember many international trips together, including Hong Kong in 2016. This is a picture with Bobby Ng. I enjoy very much on your comments at the meeting as well as the interactive conversation on politics and economics. I do hope you will continue to participate in activities and share your wisdom with everyone. Actually, I don't believe you are retiring, just changing track. Wish you and Kathy healthy and happy. I'm Tony Herring. And I'm very pleased to make a video for Dennis. Dennis and I have been very good friends, really, for a great many years. And we worked together really full time for seven years here at Scottish Ride. And then our friendship and our wives' friendships have gone on very strongly for all of these years. It's time that we're winding things up. and. Uh, Everyone is slowing down, and I understand, and I'm doing the same. And it is kind of fun to think back to some of our uh, encounters. Uh, they wanted a few Wingerism stories, and obviously I have many. It, uh, everyone knows of the need for tuna fish salad sandwiches in the operating area so that you wouldn't have to chew you could just swallow your sandwich virtually whole and get back in the OR right quickly. And we, of course, had a very Germanic OR director who wanted to make sure that Dennis not only was uh, able to chew and swallow, but that he would have no time between cases and she would gripe at him the whole time that he was chewing and swallowing his tuna fish sandwich. But one of my most interesting ones was one night Dennis and Kathy were picking myself and my Kathy up at our house to go somewhere and he pulled up at the curb and Kathy was getting in the back seat and I had one foot into the back seat when all of a sudden he took off and he was halfway down the next block when the door slammed and he, they realized that I was not in the car. I was still back on the sidewalk. Uh, but uh, Dennis's eagerness to get places has, and to do things quickly has, has never changed. and. I also remember instances of backing off an on-ramp on the freeway onto the grass so that we could uh, not waste time sitting in line trying to get onto the Central Expressway. So, but Dennis, uh, wish you the best of luck. Uh, let's remain good friends and let's get together more often now. Thanks. This is Baxter Willis from Ottawa, Canada, wishing uh, Dennis uh, a happy retirement from clinical practice as he ends uh, almost 45 years of clinical practice in pediatric orthopedics. He is a giant in our profession and one who always has strong opinions uh, 
uh, about uh, particular subjects and is never shy from expressing those opinions. We need more such individuals uh, and hopefully, Dennis, uh, you've taught some of uh, the young people in fellowship in San Diego to follow in your footsteps. Sue and I send you best wishes from Canada and look forward to seeing you in the near future. All the best to you and uh, your retirement. Remember, uh, twice the husband for Kathy and half the money. Dear Dennis, you heard that you retire from your clinical activities. A great orthopedic surgeon and an excellent teacher leaves the stage. You will now have more time for other activities, for instance, looking at your favorite animal. Or seeing nice villages in the mountains. You will have time for activities like this, for instance. Maybe you will also remember this building where your lovely wife, Kathy, spent some time. In any case, you will always be welcomed in our flat in the mountains with this, this fabulous view from the terrace. We wish you all the best. We are sure that you will remain active and we still can learn a lot from you. My wife Christian is also looking forward to seeing you and Kathy again. Congratulations, Dennis. A fantastic career in pediatric orthopedics. Your contributions to Peds Ortho have really been legendary, and you've had a really positive impact on pediatric orthopedics, not only here in the U.S., but internationally. And with the number of fellows that you've trained over the decades, your legacy is going to live on for many, many years to come. I remember fondly when we first met we were both fellows at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. It's been now 45 years ago. To this day, I still remember the characterization that you had of your mentor, Dr. Babetchko, during the Christmas skits. It was priceless. And I think that you have continued to entertain me throughout the years. I've always cherished our friendships and the time that we've been able to spend together, both professionally and personally, and look forward to more times together. Lately, most of our social interaction has been playing golf as a part of PARS. And to this day, I have never met another golfer who's able to carry on a conversation at the same time that he's hitting the tee ball off the first tee. The way that you look at things has been sort of a unique perspective that has carried on throughout the all time that I've known you. One remembrance I have is from a number of years ago when you were a visiting professor here in LA along with Min Coker from Boston. Min presented a paper on ACL tears in kids and showed a picture of his daughter's soccer team in which 50% of the kids had had their ACL surgery repair. Right after he got done, you got up and said, Min, if I owned a roofing company and 50% of my employees had an ACL tear, OSHA would shut me down. Should the girls still be playing soccer? A lively discussion ensued. So Dennis, I hope that after this pandemic eases, you and Kathy have a chance to spend some more time with Charlene and myself enjoying Southern California. In the meantime, reflect on the wonderful career that you've had, the way that you've contributed to so many people and their training and information over the years. And as my colleagues in the Hollywood area might say about your career, that's a wrap. And a, and a uh, performance that is worthy of an Oscar. So enjoy your congratulations and your celebration. 
and take care of my good friend. Hello and greetings from a locked down London. It's a real pleasure to be able to contribute to this uh, event for Dennis uh, and to give you a little anecdote or two. I first became aware of the name of Dennis Wenger when as a trainee I was privileged to spend some time in Toronto at the Sick Kids Hospital there with Mercer Rang just as he was really completing and putting together that fantastic book which has been my guardian through paediatric orthopaedics, the art and practice of paediatric orthopaedics. And that of course was co-written with yourself, Dennis, and I remember Mercer speaking so warmly uh, about the value of his friendship with you and the collaboration with you over this uh, book, but also uh, in the care of children in general. And he said to me then, if I was ever lucky enough to find a friendship and a collaboration such as his with you uh, in my working career, then I would be very lucky. Uh, and I've done my best to do what Mercer suggested. Of course, I first remember meeting you uh, truly was when I uh, was um, hosted by you and your colleagues in uh, San Diego as part of the ABC Fellowship. Uh, that, of course, was a tremendous experience. And I first got to know you and to chat to you and to think about your ideas uh, that you put forward for paediatric orthopaedics because one of your great uh, contributions, and you are a great contributor to our field of paediatric orthopaedics, is that you are always interested, you're always questioning, and you're always thinking. And those three factors have always been a real uh, inspiration to those of us who have the privilege of coming into contact with you. Of course, I've never had the privilege of working with you, but our paths have crossed at many meetings and you've always been a friend uh, to me uh, and to my colleagues and, of course, to the children we treat. Dennis, you have been an immeasurable part of my orthopaedic career, even if you may not realise that. But from on behalf of myself and the kids I treat, thank you so much and may I wish you all the best in your retirement, but I'm sure that we will be seeing each other soon. Have fun. Bye-bye. Dr. Wenger, how are you doing? It's Eric Fernari and Jake Schultz, class of 2011-2012. Uh, you know, also with uh, Dr. Matthew Schmitz, who of course you know, and the fourth member, Dr. Chris Bray, who you know you might recall you, you called him the cowboy. He was a little bit more in the Mubarak clan uh, or following, but uh, you know we wanted to reach out. You you brought us together uh, because of you. We came to San Diego, the world that you laid there, and, and the foundation and. Uh, since then, uh, we've taken a great time to practice. So we've had a lot of amazing memories together. Um, you've taught us both uh, a lot about life, about being a doctor, about delivering care and taking care of children and their families. And uh, by far, one of the largest influences in my life personally. Um, I was going to say that, uh, you know, as we learned from you in the OR about being efficient, the two of us would take a video together to be more efficient, but then Eric went off on a tangent for a while there, so. That sort of defeated the purpose of that. But you taught us what it's like to be think critically about what you're doing and to have a, a robust conversation and not be offended. And, and the way that you did that in practice has benefited us and our patients as we've carried that on because I think a good, uh, solid conversation and not being afraid to, to speak your mind is really important and, and surrounding yourself by like minded people. Um, you know, I think we were asked to say our favorite, uh, you know, wangerism or, or, or the, the, what I carry with me. And I would say probably a few times a week, I talk about the bell curve of coordination. Uh, most things are really, we talk about in the back room, we don't say, but the bell curve of coordination is something that I've carried throughout my practice. And, and, and I think has allowed me to manage many a difficult uh, conversation with a family concerned about how often their child is falling. Uh, and I think they come away uh, much more knowledgeable and understanding because of that. So I thank you. I definitely use and reference the things that you've taught us uh, on an almost daily basis in the operating room, but uh, my favorite always is when I have the opportunity on an unusual case to say that we are probably the only people in the entire world doing this particular case right now. He does say that too. <laughs> I've been there at those moments and uh, as we individually reference you during our operations that we're doing together because uh, of the influence you've had on us. So congratulations on your well-deserved uh, retirement. Uh, you, you have laid a foundation in a field that we are, are eternally grateful for and uh, very thankful for everything you've done for each of us in our lives. Thank you for your mentorship. We look forward to many uh, rounds of golf together. Absolutely. And more conversations. You're welcome back in the Bronx anytime, okay, to come teach us more about it. Uh, and, and, and Kathy, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy spending more time with Dennis as well. So be well. Enjoy your retirement. Take care. 
Hi Dennis, this is Lori Carroll here. Congratulations on reaching this huge milestone. You will definitely be missed in our pediatric orthopedic practicing community, but I know that you won't be missed when it comes to being able to see you in many academic events in the future. My favorite Wenger anecdote, this is a good one. So I was the presider at IPOS in between you as the moderator and shall we say a speaker that notoriously goes over time. And I was quite early in my career at this time and you kept poking me and telling me to get the speaker off the podium. And I kept trying to get the speaker off the podium but he wasn't going to budge. And it was a back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with me trying to get him off and you telling me to get him off the podium um, and me trying to interrupt the speaker who was having none of it. Um, so I was sort of felt as if I was letting you down by not being able to get this guy off, but I certainly didn't have the power of Dennis Wanger to be able to interrupt his speech. Anyway, congratulations. I uh, hope to see you many, many times in our travels as we continue on in our academic lives. Dr. Wanger, it's hard to believe that we're uh, sending you a video uh, wishing you well wishes in your retirement. Uh, it's hard to believe it's finally happening. I never thought uh, we would ever see the day and I'm uh, very happy you waited until well after my fellowship to uh, finally hang up the hat. Uh, training in San Diego is one of those unique uh, opportunities uh, that when you tell somebody you're going to train out there and then anything about pediatric orthopedics, they always mention your name. Uh, and it truly was a pleasure and honor to have trained with you. Uh, it was absolutely one of the, the best years of my life uh, in training with everyone out there. But really, my three months spent with you was outstanding. Uh, there's so many stories. And I wish, you know, now when I'm getting put on the spot, it's really hard to remember everything that happened during that year. Uh, but it was amazing. Uh, I use uh, knowledge I learned from you all the time and tell my residents. Uh, I try to put on a red cast every time I can because uh, you told me a surgeon would never, ever let his patients bleed. Um, but no, it's truly uh, amazing to uh, have gotten to know you better and better over the years. I uh, loved spending time with you out at your farm in Utah. Um, and uh, I really uh, am sad that uh, to see that it's you, you are retiring, but I know it's uh, for the best. I wish you and your family the best and hope you uh, truly enjoy all the time off. I uh, hope to see you soon at a conference. Uh, hopefully we'll have some coming up soon. Uh, not to cancel by COVID, but I hope you're doing well and see you soon. Hi, Dennis. I heard you are retiring from clinical orthopedics at the end of the month, and I just uh, wanted to congratulate you on a truly tremendous career. And what you've accomplished is, is epic and inspiring. It's been very inspiring to me over the years, that's for sure. And, you know, you learn from some of the giants in pediatric orthopedics, and lo and behold, you have become a giant yourself, and I, and I mean that in the truest sense. Um, I'm honored, really, to have been around for uh, at least a part of your career and to watch you and your success over the years. Um, I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for your mentorship and your friendship uh, throughout the years. Uh, back in 1997 when I graduated, I really didn't know what I wanted to do because I really loved everything about orthopedics. I couldn't pick a subspecialty fellowship because I just didn't know which one I wanted more than another. But you were very kind to me. Somewhere around my junior year, you sat me down and you um, um, offered to help me out and get a pediatric orthopedic fellowship. Uh, I didn't end up doing that, of course, but um, I've always appreciated your uh, willingness to go to bat for me and your confidence in me. Uh, you gave me a lot of good advice over the years, and, and I truly appreciate that. Um, uh, that was in the mid-90s that I did my rotations over there at Children's with you and Scott and Hank. Um, Doug had just come and Peter had just come, and I learned so much from all of you, and, and particularly you in a very short time on, on your rotation, uh, both my first time through and second time through, and I've carried with me throughout my career a lot of those things that I learned from you. Um, I have a lot of uh, funny anecdotes uh, over the years, and particularly from my time over at Children's. Uh, all of us have very funny DRW uh, anecdotes that know you. Um, this was a uh, osteotomy that we were going to do. It was my first time over at Children's. I can't remember if it was distal radius, if it was forearm, what exactly it was, but I remember I read about it extensively and um, took what I thought was the best article and then I traced out the osteotomy. I had it on tracing paper and taped it up to the OR wall 
and I taped up the article to the OR wall. And you would, you came in and you looked at the <laughs> the wall and at first I thought you were impressed. Then I thought maybe you were a little disgruntled. Um, I couldn't really tell you were a little inscrutable. Uh, but you sat there and you thought for a second, and then I realized what the issue was is that you were now a little conflicted about how much of the case you were going to let me do. So you turned to me and you said, I understand the amount of work that you put into this, and I'm just not sure that that means I'm going to let you do the case. And sure enough, you really didn't let me do the case, um, but you let me do a lot in those rotations. And as I said, I, I learned a tremendous amount from you, and, and I appreciate that. Um, if ever there was a renaissance man, Dennis, it is you. Uh, there's just really nothing um, that you can't or won't uh, talk about. It's been great sitting next to you at a lot of the um, San Diego Orthopedic Society dinners and other things, and we get to chit-chat, and it's always the highlight of my night. Um, I've learned so much from you over the years. You've uh, given me recommendations on books to read, articles to read. Um, I've really appreciated our time on the residency committee together. Um, you have just such great insight into uh, resident teaching and resident education and I'll always remember the things that you taught me um, and uh, I do smile though when I think that I have given you a couple recommendations <laughs> one I went out on a limb and uh, I'm sure you remember I recommended you go to the La Jolla Playhouse and see uh, Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots and I was just very happy that you and Kathy enjoyed that or at least that's what you said um, and I know you enjoyed uh, the making of the atomic bomb by Richard Rhodes. Um, so uh, again, I just want to thank you for your friendship over the years. And um, uh, Peter mentioned that you are going to be hanging around in, as a senior educational consultant. I'm not sure what that means, uh, but I'm really happy to hear that you're going to continue um, mentoring and teaching medical students, uh, residents, fellows, junior faculty in particular. Uh, you are very gifted at that. You were born to do that. Uh, I'm sure you have, get a lot of joy and satisfaction out of that, so I'm very happy that you're going to continue to do that. Uh, I know that won't take up all your time, uh, so you'll have to lean on some of your other interests, and I'm sure you have many, many. Uh, I'm also pretty sure that Kathy can't wait for you to kind of figure that out. Uh, isn't that right, Kathy? Um, so anyway, um, here's a little... Lagavulin 16. Uh, Dennis, again, congratulations on really just an, an amazing uh, clinical career. Um, and I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors and the next chapters uh, for you and Kathy that have yet to be written. So, cheers. Dr. Wenger, well, where to begin? As you know, my journey into pediatric orthopedics really began about 15 years ago when I was accepted within the San Diego family. Now your guidance and mentorship really has made me the physician, the surgeon, and the person who I am today. When I look back, I think, did you inspire me? Without question. Did you motivate me? Absolutely. And did you scare me? Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> but most of all, you seem to ignore the emo enormous amount of what I didn't know and always focused on the very little that I did know. And so with that, I think what you did is carve in me the much needed confidence I needed to be able to safely and with precision operate on a child and make them better again. And so I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you again for being my much needed mentor and friend and you know, we all say that we are who we are because of our teachers. And undoubtedly, Dennis Wenger, I am who I am because of you. God bless you and Kathy. And I hope you have a great celebration virtually. And I pray we can all meet again to do this in person and really celebrate your illustrious career and the enormous impact you've had on all of us. It's Michael Skyhar. And it's June 14th, 2020, and this is all about Dennis Winger, MD. I first met Dr. Winger about 35 years ago when I was a resident at UCSD. Dr. Winger immediately struck me with his intellect, his ability to teach, and his wit. 
And over the years, it has been clear to me that Dr. Wenger is a shining light of how one should live their life. He has a great family as well, which is the best testament for how Dr. Wenger and his wife have conducted their lives. In short, I have never forgotten Dr. Wenger, and I never will forget Dr. Wenger. In the orthopedic world, he is a giant, not just within pediatric orthopedics. It is obvious that he loves to educate. I still use Dr. Wenger's teachings in my practice and in the OR. But Dennis, I'm sorry. One thing I never could master was your skill at being able to talk a hole through a mask in the operating room. Maybe I should take a month off and come and spend time with you before you hang it up. <laughs> Dr. Wenger has helped countless appreciative patients through tough times by virtue of his dedication and his skills. I am one of many in the orthopedic realm that has benefited from Dr. Wenger's input and for that I am grateful. You can count me in the gigantic basket of all the people that love and respect you Dr. Wenger as well as the work that you have done over many many years of an amazing career. Godspeed, my friend, and make sure, make sure that you enjoy your retirement as much as you've enjoyed your illustrious career. And if you need anything, just call me anytime. Ciao. Hi, Dr. Wenger. Congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for always pushing us to strive for excellence. I hope you enjoy this new chapter of your life. Wish you the best. Warm hugs from Puerto Rico. Take care. Dr. Wenger, Chris Bray here from Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, class 2012 with uh, Matt Schmitz and Jake Schultz and Eric Fenari. Got a chance to see their videos and I know they got to highlight on the uh, bell curve of coordination. We got to see Jake and Eric not really social distancing in New York there, but do a video together. Um, there's a lot of Wengerisms we could talk about. I, I um, certainly quote a few of them still as the legendary tales of Dr. Wenger continue on, but um, I always remember uh, closing, you would say, Chris, we wanna get invited to the wedding. Make sure you close that one up nice. So I'm not sure if over the years you got to uh, go to any weddings, got any invites based on any of my closures, probably not, but um, I still on a daily basis probably um, uh, at the very least use the things that you taught us, uh, some of the things that you say it comes out in the way I teach my residents. Um, and more than anything, I just want to tell you congratulations on retirement. I hope you get to play a lot of golf. Um, I feel bad for the folks that won't get to hear you in conference, uh, teaching and uh, from a learning standpoint, those are some of the days that we cherish the most. And uh, so proud to be a part of the program there in San Diego, to be a part of what um, all of y'all have built there. And I uh, just wish you all the best. Thanks so much. So I just heard that Dr. Wenger is going to retire, um, and I have some mixed feelings about it. I'm happy for him that uh, we get to celebrate um, his career, um, all the kids he's treated, and all the fellows and residents uh, and others that he's taught, including me. Um, I'm sad, though, that he uh, can't uh, teach any more fellows. Um, I think for all the San Diego fellows and residents who have come through, one of the best parts uh, was to be around uh, Dr. Wenger. Um, and for me, it was an uh, incredible learning experience. Um, he um, when I first interviewed with him, I told them, uh, you know, Dr. Wenger, you're probably going to get many smarter um, fellows before and after me, but you'll never get anyone who works harder. And uh, I think during that year, I proved to him that I would work as hard as it takes uh, to be uh, a good fellow. Uh, and a good attending surgeon. Um, he actually pulled me aside in the beginning of my fellowship and he said, uh, Robert, you know, you um, are a very hard worker. Um, 
you have good surgical skills, but your uh, knowledge base is well beyond, below your peers. Um, and he was right. He told me that really early, he identified it. And so what, I, what did I do every night, multiple hours a day, I sat there and I read. Um, anytime I wasn't operating or seeing patients, I read. Um, so I thank him for that. I thank him for identifying that early and knowing what I needed to get better. Um, I just think about some of the things that, uh, you know, he told me, he's told me so many things and I think about him often when I'm in the clinic and I'm perplexed by a comp uh, complex uh, patient or problem. Um, one of the things that really stuck with me is he told me, uh, Robert, you know, make sure you're not uh, the first person on a wave, uh, especially with implants that are coming out that may be new. He always told me uh, and made me try to be critical of any new technology, really think think uh, think things through uh, for myself uh, and not just join on a wave just because everybody else is doing him, uh, doing it. So I do want to thank you, Dr. Wenger, for all the things that you've taught me. Um, you've been so incredibly uh, valuable uh, for my career uh, and just me personally. Um, I've always looked up to you. Um, you've always been a huge mentor to me. I wouldn't be here uh, where I'm at as the chief of uh, the Shriners in Pasadena without uh, uh, the lessons you taught me. Um, as you enter your next career in retirement, uh, I just want you to know that um, mi casa es su casa, so anytime you're in Los Angeles, I would love for you to visit our medical center, teach our residents and, um, and our medical students. I would love for you to um, come to our house and stay at our guest house. I'll take you out to Korean barbecue anytime you uh, want. Um, and I just hope uh, you have happiness and peace uh, for your second career. Thanks for everything, Dr. Wenger. Congratulations, Dr. Wenger, on wrapping up your clinical practice. I can honestly say I am thankful to have had the opportunity to both train and start my practice under your guidance. Uh, looking forward to being office mates and continuing to learn from you. Congratulations. Hi, Dr. Wenger, congratulations on your upcoming retirement from clinical practice. I just wanted to say uh, thank you for being my mentor all these years. I honestly don't know if I'd have matched at the UCSD uh, residency if you hadn't verified that my English language proficiency was up to snuff. Um, when I think about you, I just think of you as the consummate uh, professor, comedian, and thought provoker. Um, and I just want to thank you for all you've contributed to uh, UCSD and uh, my personal um, and professional successes over these years. Uh, best of luck on the golf course. Dr. Winger, I'm so glad that someone thought of this idea. So we have the opportunity to thank you for all that you have done for so many of us. I personally cannot thank you enough for all the ways you have helped me over the years. It begins with you just being willing to offer a fellowship to a small town kid from a small residency program in Texas. And this led to one of the greatest years of my life and undoubtedly changed my life forever. The amount of knowledge and experience gained in that one year could not be matched. You taught me how to treat children with orthopedic issues, but you went further than that. You taught me how to think about the patient, the disease process, and the treatment plan in a totally different way. You also instilled a passion for the history of our profession and a hunger for evaluating new literature being published. And this led to a greater appreciation for the specialty of pediatric orthopedics. Since leaving fellowship, you have continued to be a great asset to me. You have given me your, rec your recommendations on my son's own distal radius fracture so that my wife could be reassured that I was not crazy to leave it completely displaced and expect complete remodeling. And on more than one occasion, you have provided assistance as an intra-op consult on tough cases. Once, even while you were on a trip in Canada and using your wife's cell phone and her international calling plan. I cannot tell you how blessed I have felt to have this type of access to someone with greater than 40 years of experience when struggling on a case in the operating room. And probably more important than those times, you've helped me think through career decisions on more than one occasion and have been unbelievably supportive. You have taken time to ask me how things are really going and have always drilled down and asked questions regarding important aspects that I have not even thought about in a true Dennis Winger fashion. Dr. Winger, my life has ever been changed by my relationship with you, and for that, I cannot thank you enough. I wish you well in your next phase, and I know I echo so many others when I say you will be truly missed. Thank you so much, Dr. Winger. Hello, Dr. Winger, and uh, congratulations on a well-deserved retirement. Um, I just really appreciate uh, you being a great example of uh, what a surgeon who has truly dedicated his life to the education of the next generation looks like. Um, 
I try to think long and hard about uh, what sort of Dr. Wenger story I could actually tell that, um, uh, that wouldn't get either of us in trouble. Uh, and so I found a kind of more straightforward one. Um, and uh, one of my favorite quotes from you uh, is that if uh, someone's operating with you and they get um, uh, nicked by a send retractor or by a needle, it's their fault. Uh, they need to be a lot more nimble uh, 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 when they're retracting for you. And uh, I always thought that was a great quote. Uh, and so I tried to pass that along to my residents and students also. Um, thank you for, uh, for teaching me and training me. And uh, again, congratulations on your retirement. Hey, Dr. Winger, it's Matt Ellington from Austin here. I just wanted to tell you that it has been an honor and a pleasure uh, to have trained under you. I also wanted to thank you for all that you have done for me. Um, hopefully in your free time, you can maybe make it back down to Austin and go to another Longhorn game with us. Um, again, thank you very much for all that you've done and it really does mean a lot to me. Dr. Wenger, congratulations. Your legacy lives on. Not only have you shaped all of your students, your fellows, your coworkers, and me during my training, but you've also truly impacted all of pediatric orthopedics. You've been a thought leader and you've done it in a style and with a bravado like nobody else. Um, you've always been able to bring wit and humor and controversy um, that not only entertains, but also makes people think. And as I thought about the words of this talk, I also knew that you would examine each word in real time. Uh, and I probably shouldn't have chosen bravado back there. So sorry about that. Um, in my personal life, your legacy lives on though too. It's from the smallest things to in the operating room. And so you can be sure that as I walk across IU's campus that I'm never so inefficient to walk along the, the winding paths I always go the shortest distance from A to B, so there's a cattle trail through the, the grass from me. Um, also to knowing the psychology and sociology of the patients and families that we see on a daily basis. And although I'm not with the coastal Californian yuppies, I'm now with the hardworking Central Indian and farmers, and I see the value in those lessons that you taught us daily. But also trying to challenge thoughts and back up that challenge through research I continue to try to push that approach in my own practice. So thank you for everything and congratulations. Uh, it couldn't have been more of an honor to have worked with you and trained with you. Um, all the best. Hi Dennis, uh, Francois Lalonde here. Uh, a couple of quick words to congratulate you on a great career as a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. I'll keep great memories of our early years together. Uh, your, the recruitment, uh, Back to my house in Ottawa, as you remember, I lived uh, right next door to Merv Letts, which was a, a source of uh, humor at that time. Uh, thanks for all the energy and effort to recruit me back to San Diego. I'll always be in debt to you for that. Uh, it was one of the best things that happened to me and also for your mentorship over the years, what you taught me about just being a good uh, orthopedic surgeon, research, what it takes to put a good paper together and uh, clinically obviously everything you taught me about the uh, the hip which I still have a great interest uh, these days in my practice um, I hope I wish you lots of uh, happiness and good health in your retirement um, I keep good memories of uh, the uh, social events you had at your house and all the lunch hour Friday lunch hour sessions we had uh, during fellowship and as a staff and uh, um, I hope we get to keep in touch and thank you again for everything you've done for even POSNA as a historian, et cetera, what you've contributed to the field of pediatric orthopedics. All the best. Cheers. Dr. Wenger, I, um, I've known you for a lot less time, but I really have um, appreciated everything that you've done for me, uh, for being my mentor as a resident, um, from helping me getting into fellowship and then since fellowship, it's been great. Also working with the other Radies guys here um, has been great. We all have fond memories of Radies and of you in particular. Um, I still think of many things that you've taught me on a regular basis, um, not just about orthopedics, but about um, critical thinking and how to analyze papers and looking at who the authors are and where they came from. And, and from any, everything that you've taught me, I really appreciate it. It's been uh, remarkable um, uh, working with you and also kind of just 
learning pediatric orthopedics from you and also learning things just about life in general and how, to, how people are and human nature from you. So I appreciate it. Um, it's been great. I miss the uh, Friday afternoon lunch hours and things, and uh, hopefully we'll have um, the chance to see each other and hang um, out more um, in the future as things open up and at Pozna. Thank you. I would just add, Dr. Wenger, that uh, the work ethic as well is something I'll always remember from you. Um, staying after hours, coming in on the weekends just to get the job done. And you, you put in, you know, you get what you put into things. And you taught us early on about, uh, you know, putting a lot of effort and energy into your work and the rewards. The other thing I'm going to remember fondly is the advice you gave me uh, in fellowship when I was going back to Ottawa to try and find a, a house that was close to the hospital to uh, facilitate the uh, on-call. And that was uh, bang on at that time. And I always will remember that. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, I first knew of uh, Dr. Wenger in 1995. And then uh, when I first presented in Postman 1997, that's where Dennis actually rescued me from a huge arrow that shot my way by a senior professor during my uh, podium presentation. I was uh, forever grateful to him that. And uh, since then, uh, my mentor, Ang Lee, has introduced me to him, and then uh, through many courses and conferences, we got to know each other. And one thing I must warn you guys, whoever, uh, if you're doing any uh, tour or exploring with um, Dennis, the danger is that he may lead you astray into the most dangerous and unknown area of the city or the town that you went to. And lastly, I, I cannot imagine uh, Dennis will ever uh, retire. You know, with him around, you all your brain cells get stimulated constantly. And certainly, it will delay the onset of our dementia. So to this, I can't even wish you happy retirement, Dennis. Thank you. Hey, Dennis. Congratulations on an amazing career. Uh, I think I can claim to be one of your fellows because I've learned so much from you through the years. Uh, when I was a fellow here at Scottish Rite Hospital, you were a visiting professor, and uh, I gave a talk on uh, ultrasound and DDH, and I was really nervous. And during the question answer period, you were pretty tough on me, but uh, you were very fair, and I've always respected you for that. One quick story. Uh, we all have stories about you which are fun and, uh, and perhaps funny. And so I gave a talk at IPOS uh, right after you gave a talk and you were on the panel and I sat down uh, next to you and I never knew what to expect, but it would be always interesting. And you said to me, as I sat down, you said, I really like that jacket. Who's the designer? And so I had to put my reading glasses back on, look inside my uh, jacket and tell you who it was. And we had a little conversation and a chuckle. Uh, during that time. So those small special moments I'll always remember. Uh, and especially I'll remember uh, the fact that you made us all better and you made me better as a clinician, researcher, educator, and, and I thank you for that. I wish you and Kathy the very best of luck and I hope to see you guys soon. Hi, Dr. Wenger. I am honored to be among those who have had the chance to know you well enough to be able to send a video to say congratulations so much on your much deserved uh, stepping back and I would like to take a minute to say thank you even though I couldn't possibly adequately thank you in a video that lasts a minute or two but I would like to try to say thank you for everything that you've done for me um, both the intangible things like teaching me how to conduct myself in the operating room and to take care of patients to the very tangible such as writing a letter to Dr. Schaefer back uh, when I was heading back to Chicago to advocate for me. Um, it's been one of the greatest privileges of my career to have had the chance to learn from you. And you've certainly been one of the most influential people on me in my career. Um, my whole family is happy to know you and I'm very sad to think that we may not have as many opportunities to catch up in the future, but I really, really hope we do because I've loved every single chance that I've had to catch up with you since I finished my fellowship and I really look forward to many more opportunities. So uh, thank you so much for everything. You've really helped shape me into who I am and I, I can't thank you enough for that. See you soon, bye-bye. 
Hey, Dr. Wenger, I just want to say congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for being a mentor for me uh, for all the years I've been here. I have the utmost respect for you. Having said that, though, I'm uh, about to do a little roast video that I was asked to do. I'm going to do quick little, two quick little impersonations. Um, probably not the best, but here it goes. This is one of the good ones in clinic with Chad. My God, it's like 0.2 degrees cooler in here. Than it is in here. Chad, Chad, the ladies up front, they're messing with us. Tell them to go put on their jackets. I'm hot and I'm bothered, and I have patience to see. That's the first one. The second one I loved was we walked in and a child with skiff they had a skiffy. Do you like chippies? Do you snack a little much? I like chippies too. When you smell McDonald's fries, do you start salivating? There you go. Again, thanks, Dr. Wenger. Love you, and uh, best of luck. When presenting radiographs to me, don't touch the screen. When you touch the screen, it's like you're touching my glasses. The reason your son has knee pain is because he's fat. And I see it runs in the family. Dr. Wenger, I just saw another patient with intoing. I told them it was normal. Dr. Badlani, did you just tell the patient in the family that the child had intoing, that it was normal? You just told them that and that's all? Dr. Badlani, that patient, that family, they've come from a small village hundreds of miles away. They've crossed mountains and valleys and rivers to come to the big city, the famous Rady Children's Hospital, to see the famous Dr. Neil Badlani and Dr. Dennis Wenger, and all you did was tell them it was normal in towing and sent them away? Dr. Badlani, you must give them the handout the in towing handout written by yourself, Dr. Dennis Wanga. It is in English and in Spanish. Give them the handout. They will read it. They will learn it. They will memorize it like gold. They will take the handout thousands of miles back across deserts and mountains and valleys to their small town. And you know what they'll do with the handout? They'll show the handout to their friends, their neighbors, their amigos. They will put it up on their walls, Dr. Badlani. They'll hang it in the town square, Dr. Badlani. And then, you know what will happen? All of their friends, their amigos, their, their neighbors will come from the small town, come hundreds of thousands of miles across glaciers and mountains and deserts to see you, Dr. Badlani, the famous Dr. Badlani, Dr. Salil Lupasini, at the Rady Children's Hospital, of course, Dr. Dennis Wanger, and they'll come with their child who also has intoing. And then you know what you'll do? No. You know what you'll do? You will give them the handout because they all want their own handout so they can show to their friends and their neighbors. Give them the handout, Dr. Badlani. You will be famous. Congratulations, Dr. Wanger, on an incredible career. Thank you so much for all that you taught myself and all of our fellow residents. I have so many great memories of the lessons you taught me, and you were totally right. I do give all my patients a handout. You're being too loud. When we're indoors, use your indoor voice. JD, I need some assistance in changing my password again. Now this business of using capital letters in the password, is that important? Uh, yeah, you have to do that. I wish I didn't ask you. You know, I enjoy seeing the fellows at these reunions, but I've noticed that um, they're showing up with very few children. One child, two children. Children are an indicator of prosperity. And we need the fellows to have more of them to indicate that we are a prosperous profession. Sublux is not a word. If something is dislocated, would you call it disloped? Please don't say yay in clinic when you're excited. That's not a word either. Wally, I've received a complaint about you, which I found was unusual. 
It's important to learn how to deal with these kind of things. It's important training for your fellowship. I'd like you to write a letter to this woman, acknowledging all of her concerns, but also undeniably telling her to... Whoa.